Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time of day it is you're watching, I just want to say thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. And as always, please like, subscribe, and leave a message and share my video. Today I want to talk about relationships. So let's get real today. Many of us wonder why we move from one relationship to the next. And if you are single right now, that means whatever relationship you were in, it didn't work. There could be several reasons why it didn't work, but I want to talk about one reason in particular that many people face. Oftentimes we find ourselves in relationships with a person's potential. We see what a person could and should be. We pray and we hope beyond hope that one day this person would change. Now, Maya Angelou said it best. When a person shows you who they are, believe them. If you are currently in a relationship, I want you to picture the person that you're with five years in the future and nothing about them changes, not their looks, their weight, or even their behavior. Now I want you to ask yourself, would you still want to be with them? If your answer is yes, then congratulations. You may have found the one. However, if your answer is no, it may be time for you to reevaluate your current situation and make a real decision for how you want to live the rest of your life. See, people will treat you the way you allow them to. They will talk to you disrespectfully. They will take you for granted. They will come and go in and out of your life with no consideration of your feelings. Many of them will go to work and be on their best behavior with their boss and co-workers, but yet talk to you like a dog. Prime example, a lot of women suffer with bad cramps and mood swings and pain during their cycle. And not to throw off on women, it's just an example. But when they go to work, they're able to maintain their composure, do their jobs without cussing anyone out or even being rude. However, when they get home to their loved ones, they become hell on feet, fussing and cussing, being short with their partner, being impatient with their kids. They would treat their boss and coworkers better than they treat the people in their life that truly love them and that they claim to love. See, the, one of the hardest things I found to be true in my life is letting go. That goes for friendships, business relationships, romantic relationships, and even with family members. I got a list of some quotes that I live by, or I've learned to live by. If you can't build with them, then don't chill with them. Ships are designed to take you places. So if your relationship, partnership, or even friendship is not taking you anywhere, then you should abandon ship. If they weren't good for you last year, they won't be good for you this year. Cut them off. Pay close attention to the people around you who don't clap when you win. If she ain't holding you down, then she's slowing you down. Stop looking for happiness in the same place you lost it. Please don't ever think that you need someone in your life because at some point you didn't know them and you were doing just fine. See, many people hold on to relationships that they should have let go of a long time ago. They tell themselves that it will get better, but they know it won't. The truth of the matter is that they are holding on because they fear the pain it will cause by letting go. But here's the kicker. 
they are already in pain from being in the relationship. At the end of the day, we only get one body to live in. And we only get one life to live on this earth. So why do we constantly eat unhealthy, which causes health issues? And why do we stay in unhealthy relationships that steal our joy? We need to be living our best life. So people, in closing, learn to love yourself. Love yourself enough to let go, to know your value. To not hold on to someone who's not holding on to you. And to accept people for who they are. Don't try to change them. See them for who they are. See if you can deal with them if you can. If you can, then great. If you can't, move on. No hard feelings. No one's perfect. So, take two fingers. Spread them apart. Peace.